Welcome folks, this is John Oaks here with Hanksters Hot Rods and today obviously we're coming to you from our Homer City, Pennsylvania showroom and again we are going to go over another new addition to our inventory with you and that is going to be this vehicle that's sitting behind me right now. Now this is uh, a 1976 Chevy C10 pickup truck and I'm going to give you just a brief overview of what this truck is before we begin our walk around. So as I said it is a 70 C10. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of a special edition here. It's uh, the Bonanza edition, but it's also the Spirit of 76. There is badging um, on the interior and so forth for that. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that we did call that out. Uh, as far as the drive line goes on this vehicle, we do in fact have the numbers matching motor. It is a 350 cubic inch small block Chevy motor that's in here. We also got a turbo 350 automatic transmission and then a GM 12 bolt rear end. It is in fact a posi unit in that rear end and a 308 gear. It does have factory air conditioning also, which when we open up the uh, hood, we'll take a look at all those components. Um, it is power steering, power brakes, that's disc up front, drums out on the back, complete with the emergency brake all hooked up. And then of course, as you can tell, they've gone ahead and done some custom wheels and tires on this other than what uh, stock would be. Um, these are gonna be 20 inch wheels, front and back. These are the US Max. Uh, the bullet style with the gunmetal um, gray uh, accents, the milled and polished lips and edges on the wheel itself. Uh, and then as far as the tires go, you're gonna have matching tires front and back as far as name brand and style of tire. And these are gonna be Hankook Ventus V12 Evo 2s here. Um, size on those, I just wanna go over those real quick so I don't forget the sizes. It's gonna be 245 40 R20s on the front. And then out here on the back, we've got 275 40 ZR20s back here. But like I said, matching brand tires, matching tread patterns so it's the same style tire there um, okay so that's kind of our overview so we'll kind of start with our walk around um, going over the vehicle i'll try to call up as much stuff as i can here for you so as we can see here we've got the two-tone paint scheme here we've got that dark red kind of almost like a burgundy color here as far as the top and bottom colors go and then you've got the silver through the center and then they also have that silver broke up just a little bit here to show that burgundy or that dark red color um, kind of all the way around that silver down the center as I mentioned it is the Bonanza edition here so you see the Bonanza 10 here on the uh, front fenders here for your badging um, so all of that looks good we also have the wheel lip moldings here on the truck now they are bright uh, kind of like the polished uh, look here but you've also got the black right through the center of them there so again a nice looking it's just not a plain old bright wheel lip molding kind of a two-tone effect on that as well as far as our doors go on our truck here, you can take a look at our gaps there to the front side as well as the back side here. And again, those gaps are actually really nice. Very uniform front to back. Your elevations are really, really good on this truck whenever you match it up to your fender and your rear cab corner here. Um, as far as the drip rail moldings, those are just done here in the bright here. And those are nice and straight. Polished up really nice here. Again, attached secure and as I run my finger through here very very smooth throughout there uh, as far as the glass goes slightly tinted on the side glass here no chips or cracks anywhere and then you do in fact have the black window trim around your vent windows here as well as things like your windshield and your rear glass as well you've got the chrome mirrors on both sides and the chrome is in great shape 
the glass in those mirrors. There's no chips or cracks anywhere in those. And then the chrome door handles and locks, and those are all in great shape. Now let's go ahead and open up our door, take a look at our interior. And again, very nice looking interior here. We've got the tan interior. Um, it's a front bench seat, obviously, for the truck. And then, of course, you see it's got all the seat belts there, kind of done there in that darker red or the burgundy to kind of help, uh, you know, set the colors on the interior, just like the exterior. Uh, you got factory dash, factory instrumentation. It does have the factory heat and AC controls, and it does have the AM FM cassette player. It's uh, got the uh, kind of a custom cup holder in there. It mounts right in the ashtray there. So kind of it, it use, utilizes something that you may not otherwise use there and, and makes good use of it there. So you can put your cups and drinks in there. It is a tilt wheel column shift. Of course, it's got the black Chevrolet steering wheel there also. Seat upholstery is in great shape with no rips or tears. Carpeting is in great condition. No rips, tears, and really no fading on the carpet. It looks really, really good there for as old as what it is. Um, as far as our door panels here, you can see those. Those are in real nice condition here. I don't see any cracks or anything. They're all attached secure. Armrest pads, no cracks or splits anywhere in the material there. As I had mentioned there, we've got the Spirit of 76, mainly because this is a 1976. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the driver's side anyways. Of course, all of our uh, weather stripping and seals around our door frame here is in excellent shape here. Again, everything looks good here as far as your door edges too. All looks well on this side. So let's close this up. Again, door shuts pretty good there. Again, that's just noted because uh, again, it's been uh, very well adjusted there so that it does close without, you know, with very little effort. As far as the truck bed sides, very straight on this truck. Again, you've got all the matching wheel well trim. As far as the rear glass, again, you can see it is a tinted rear window one piece solid one piece window here so no sliding windows or anything like that you've got the black trim all the way around which is in good shape here too and of course you see you've got the cargo lamp up there on top as well then of course we see the black tonneau cover here on the bed of the truck. This can be removed so that you could utilize the bed if you'd like to. Um, this is a truck's port um, tonneau cover and like I said, it is removable. But the condition of the tonneau cover is in very nice shape, nice and tight on the truck as well. Um, and there's no holes or anything like that. So again, very nice tonneau cover. As far as the rear end of the truck, our taillight bezels are in good shape it's got the bright work for those your taillight lenses no chips or cracks anywhere there the the actual tailgate itself very clean looking tailgate back here again the color scheme follows all the way around of course you've got the Chevrolet embossed in there like it would have been from the factory um, but no accents no highlights here just the colors of the truck and then down below you've got your roll pan here in the uh, dark red or burgundy and a clean look back here no rear bumper on this truck um, now again tailgate opens up just fine we'll do that for you here on camera it is tethered there with the hinges and again it's got a truck bed liner in it to help protect the floor in here again the bed liner is in good shape and yes you do have some uh, floor mats back here that will match in that interior very nice we just always leave those out so that we can show you the true condition of the carpet underneath so that's the uh, the bed tailgate and such that closes up nice and easy, no issues there. Now we'll head over to the passenger side. Again, the bed side, nice and straight. As a matter of fact, looking up the entire side of the truck, it is nice and straight the whole way from back all the way to the front. So we'll go ahead, kind of nothing really to really go over here other than what we've already done. All of your wheel lip moldings and such. You've got your gas cap right here. That is indeed where you will fill it uh, uh, for the fuel your tank does reside along this side of the truck here um, so that is exactly where you'll do that from as far as the passenger side door now again same thing here you've got your gaps to the back and the front 
pretty uniform there. Elevations are dead on on the truck. All your body lines all line up here, so no issues there. The chrome on the door handles, the locks, and the mirrors all in great shape. No chips or cracks in the mirror glass. No chips or cracks in the side glass either in the door. And again, that drip rail molding very nice and straight all the way around that window there. Again, that's going to help direct that water off the top of the roof and not have it come in the door there for you. So let's open up our door. Take a look from the passenger side again. No surprises here. Um, you pretty much were able to see the whole truck from the driver's side. But again, dash is in great shape. Again, that's factory dash, factory instrumentation, the tilt column. Um, you've got the cup holders in there, factory heater controls, heat and AC controls, and again, all the seat belts. The only thing here is you get to see the uh, upholstery here from this side. So again, just notice that there is no rips or tears in the seats. Again, your door panels here on the passenger side. Same thing, in very nice condition. No rips or tears or cracks in the armrest pads. You got the matching badging here over on this side. Window cranks are all in good shape too. Uh, seals, weather stripping, again, all of that stuff is in good condition. We'll close this up and we'll head up to the front. Just the matching badging here on the fender and then we'll come around to the front of the truck. So again, up front here, of course, the thing we see here, obviously the headlights and grill. All of this is in great shape here. The grill is all intact. There's no splits, cracks, or anything broken up here. All of the bright work is in good shape here. You've got a chrome bumper. Um, ooh, it shows a little bit of its age. I'm gonna say it's probably the original bumper for this truck, as well as what the rest of it's been taken care of. Uh, this looks to go right in par with that. Again, I would say not fresh chrome, but again, this still is in good shape. There's no cracks. There's no dents anywhere in the finish. You've got the bumperettes here with the black rubbers on the fronts here. You've got the bow tie emblem right in the center. Of course, our headlights here. That's your glass lens. No chips or cracks anywhere there. Bezels all the way around the headlights are in great shape. And as far as like your parking lights or your directionals, your turn signals, those lenses and bezels are also in great shape. Now as far as the hood goes, stock hood, all steel, gaps all the way around are in good shape on that. Of course you've got your wipers here, the, the arms and a good set of blades. The windshield, are there's no uh, chips or cracks there. And again, all the black molding, the black trim work around the window is in great shape and all sec securely anchored. Now we'll go underneath the hood so that we can uh, go over what we've got as far as motor and drive line. So the hood latch itself, the release works excellent. The hinges and springs, those work great. Very little effort to lift that hood up, kind of does it on its own. Um, so those hinges and springs are working as they should. No modifications whatsoever to the underside of the hood. So this is all intact, all of your bracing, good strong hood here. And then of course the engine compartment itself done all air in the, uh, the black, kind of like that flat or satin black inside here. Now as far as the engine goes, as I mentioned earlier, it is in fact the numbers match 350 cubic inch motor. Um, we'll start at the top on this one. It's got the chrome air filter lid and base with a reusable air filter element there. Again, real nice. You just wash those up, re-oil them, put them back on. Carburetor underneath is an Edelbrock 600 CFM uh, four barrel carburetor and it does in fact have the electric choke and that is all hooked up. Underneath there for the intake, we've got an Edelbrock Performer intake underneath there. Um, so that's kind of your air and fuel delivery for the vehicle. Um, as far as ignition system, we've got an HEI style distributor back there. Upgraded plug wires. These are Excel super stock of plug wires and they are eight millimeter plug wires. So a nice big wire to help deliver that spark 
to the engine. Uh, of course, we've got the Edelbrock chrome valve covers there to kind of dress things up. It's got the breather and PCV valve in there for proper venting. Uh, and then for the exhaust, it starts with the stock exhaust manifolds um, into a set of two inch exhaust all the way back through, including the tailpipes um, with a set of turbo style mufflers on it. Um, as you can see, I mentioned earlier, factory air conditioning on this truck. So all of your air conditioning components, all the hoses, everything is all here present, all hooked up, no leaks whatsoever, functioning, all your belts are all here too. So again, your AC is going to work. It is a power brake car, so you see the booster back there, disc brakes up front, drums on the rear, and then it's also a power steering vehicle as well. So that's pretty much everything that we have up front here. Stock style radiator for cooling. Of course, it's just a 350 small block, so this is gonna do just fine. I believe it is a seven blade fan, uh, mechanical fan. That's gonna keep you nice and cool there as well. So that's pretty much everything underneath the hood. Again, it's got the Turbo 350 automatic transmission along with that GM 12 bolt rear end Posi unit 308 gear. Um, now I always kind of at this point remind you out there that if you're not watching the video from our website, definitely go there, it's hangsters.com. That way you can check out upwards of 100 photos of the vehicle, inside, outside, underneath, all the way around this truck. You can blow them up, check them out as best as what you can. If you still have questions, obviously reach out to us and we'll be glad to answer those for you. On our website, you're also going to see the pricing, retail pricing. Um, it does include enclosed shipping to anywhere within the 48 contiguous states, um, as well as it includes our Hangsters three month, 3,000 mile powertrain warranty. Again, if you're interested in seeing exactly how that works, reach out to us. We'll be glad to go over that with you. Very simple process there if you would ever need to use that. And again, here at Hangsters, we do all kinds of accessory add-ons, um, installations and so forth. If you saw or thought of anything at all that you would like to possibly add to this vehicle, um, I know certain things that we normally do is things like air conditioning or power brakes and such, power steering. Um, again, this truck has all of that. But again, no matter what it is, if it's something other than that, reach out to us. We'll be glad to get your pricing on parts and labor to have that done and to turn this truck into uh, a vehicle that you and, and you alone would like. Um, so with that said, we're gonna go ahead and take just a moment to close this up take it back to our lift to where we can get underneath it. And then I'm gonna meet back up with you there, go through the complete underside here. And then we'll finally at the end, fire this motor up and let you hear exactly what it sounds like. Hey folks, welcome back here with us at Hanksters. We have our 76 C10 up on the lift. So we're gonna go through this uh, truck here, front to back here, go over exactly what all components we have here and more or less go over uh, the drive line, the frame, the floors and the overall condition of everything. So you get a good idea of what it is there that we are looking at underneath here. So starting at the front, of course, uh, we always start kind of at the radiator. So again, we're looking at the bottom. We wanna make sure that there's no leaks or drips on this. And of course, it is nice and dry underneath here. Uh, also, it does have a full shroud on it. Um, there's no splits or cracks anywhere in that shroud. So that's gonna help keep things nice and cool for you. All of your radiator hoses, your uh, training cooler lines, all of that stuff, all nice and dry underneath here. As we come back then a little further, of course, we're gonna run into our front suspension or the beginnings of it here. Starting with the front cross member again, this is important because again, having everything straight up here, this is what all of your suspension arms bolt off of. So again, your front cross member, nice and straight underneath here, does not look like it's ever really been hit on anything. Uh, as far as your suspension, 
upper and lower control arms on this vehicle. These are all stock OE style control arms. All of your stamped steel components here, all of which all look really good underneath here. All of your mounting hardware, your bushings and so forth, all look to be in really good shape here, as well as the ball joints too, both top and bottom. Again, they all have the rubber dust boot covers on them so that that keeps that grease in, dirt and debris out, and keeps them from premature failing or getting any kind of, you know, substance in them that would cause them to fail. Uh, as far as the shocks go, shocks look pretty good. Um, not new by any means, but again, all of the mounting hardware, bushings at your shock mounting locations, those are all in good shape underneath here. Same thing with your springs. Now, as far as the steering goes on this car, on this truck, it is a power steering truck. So whenever we're, uh, you know, given that, we always check out your steering drag length, the pitman arm, tie rods and tie rod ends. And again, all of this stuff has been checked over thoroughly and it is all in good shape. Again, tie rods all have the rubber dust boot covers on them and brakes. Power brakes on this truck. It does have the disc brakes up front. That looks to be just your typical GM stuff here. Again, stuff that you can get at just about any auto parts store locally to you um, whenever it comes time for replacing things like brake pads and rotors and such. Um, so again, disc brakes, power disc brakes up front. Now it is drums in the rear. We'll take a look at that whenever we get back there. It is all complete with your emergency brake. As far as wheels and tires, to finish out at the ends here, uh, well, we've got, uh, obviously, you saw from a much better angle when we did our walk around, but these are a set of US mags, bullet style. It's got the textured gunmetal finish with the machined lips on the outsides there. These are 20 inch wheels. As far as the tires go, these are hand kook tires. These are Ventus V12 Evo 2s, both front and back so your tread is going to be the same on these tires however the sizes are a little bit different so up front we've got 245 40 r20s and then out on the back we've got 275 40 ZR 20s back there. So unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to do your typical tire rotations on this, but again, it gives the truck a nice, uh, nice kind of, uh, you know, raked look whenever you're uh, looking at it from the side. Now, as far as the drive line goes on this, of course, we've got the 350 motor with the turbo 350 transmission. We're looking at the underside right now, looking at our oil pan, the gaskets, and the seals. Um, the gaskets all the way around the pan are nice and dry. Dra the drain plug itself is nice and dry, as well as at the back of the pan here. Again, I feel no leaks whatsoever underneath here. So again, that should be all sealed up very nice for you. As far as the transmission, like I said, turbo 350 transmission. It does have the cover for the flywheel and torque converter. Your transmission pan here, that is all anchored securely and no leaks whatsoever around that. And the same thing goes for our transmission cooler lines. Those are all dry coming from the radiator all the way back to your transmission. Before we get too far here, again, I wanna talk about our exhaust just for a second here. It starts with the exhaust manifolds up top. We've got two inch exhaust all the way back through, including the tailpipes. And again, we have a set of uh, uh, turbo style mufflers back here too, to complete everything as far as the, the sound and so forth for the vehicle. Now our transmission cross member, again, that's that unit, that is all good and solid the whole way across here. All of your hardware is good. Um, the actual transmission mount is in good shape too back here. Um, and the other thing is the output shaft seal on the back side of the transmission. That is in fact where your uh, uh, drive shaft slip yoke slides in there. Again, that is dry as well. Now the, the drive shaft itself, this is a steel drive shaft. It is weighted or balanced, so that's gonna eliminate any kind of drive line vibrations there. 
and the universals, those have all been checked over thoroughly too on the truck and those are all in good shape. As far as the frame and the floors, well again, it's a truck. You're gonna have a full frame on it. Uh, and again, the frame rails on this thing are super straight all the way back from front to back. Again, in good shape. And the floors, as I look over the floors underneath here, floors look to be in really good shape as far as this truck goes. I really don't see any patching underneath here. All all looks good and solid of course our rockers we can see those fully from the underneath here and again those are all good and solid too so again no issues there at all that all looks good as we come back we see our fuel tank here um, now this is over here on the passenger side and again all of your fuel tank mounting brackets and hardware all in good shape same thing with that fuel tank no leaks whatsoever there coming from any of your fuel lines lines or any of the brake lines. There's no leaks anywhere there either. Now, as we get back to the rear end of the truck here, we've got a GM 12 volt rear. Um, I want to say, I think it had a 308 gear maybe. I could be wrong on that, but definitely check out our, uh, our uh, ad on our website there for it. It's going to have the description with all the numbers in it there in case I might've got that uh, mixed up with another vehicle. But again, as we get back here, again, the pinion seal is all dry around that rear end same thing with that differential cover back here as well that is all dry all the way around all painted up black underneath here make things look nice and then as far as those brakes go, again, they are drum brakes on the back. Like I said, all of the emergency brake equipment, the cables, all the mounts, all the frame hooks and everything, those are all pre present, all uh, hooked up and all functional. And then again, same thing with the wheels and the tires here. We've got those US mags, the bullet style wheel with the textured gunmetal finish, and then the machine lips 20 inch. And then like I said, it's got this hand cook, um, the, the Ventus, uh, V12 Evo 2s and the size on the backs was 275 40ZR20s. Um, shocks back here all look really good. Again, your bushings and mounting hardware, both top and bottom, all in good shape. Multi-leaf rear suspension back here as well. So again, all of that's good. And as far as the truck bed itself, again, we see the rest of the frame and the metal for the floor, and that is all solid the whole way back here. And then of course, we see our tailpipes, which each one exits underneath each of the uh, the uh, 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 quarter panels back here or the bed sides here to get that exhaust out from underneath the truck. So that's uh, pretty much it for the underside of our truck. Everything looks good and solid underneath here. No issues that we can see as far as that goes. Uh, again, um, I always like to remind you folks that yes, we are an ATC trailer dealer, multiple models in stock. So if you're in the market for a race or an enclosed car trailer, um, definitely uh, check us out there. You can get to it um, off of either a classic car site or going directly to the trailer site, which is hangstershaulers.com. Again, you're gonna see all the pricing, the pictures, options, and description for everything that we have. Also, um, again, we uh, assist uh, whenever you pay the full retail, we will assist with finding the, uh, the carriers for you as far as a transport company goes. Um, you don't have to do anything. We'll take care of it all for you. Um, we'll let you know once we find a carrier um, and then all you gotta do is give us the final approval on going ahead and getting that uh, dispatched out to them. Uh, and as far as financing goes, we work with several finance companies very closely. We with our classics as well as our trailers. Um, so if financing is something that uh, you would like to, you know, check into, definitely, uh, you know, give us a call, shoot us an email or a text, um, let us know that. We'll be glad to help you along that process as well. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this truck down off the lift, go underneath the hood, we'll fire the motor up for you. That way you get to hear exactly what it sounds like. 